another very important responsibility is collective bargaining. See, as we all know, International Labour Organization defines collective bargaining as the negotiation about working condition and terms of employment between employer and representative of employees. See, if as workers, we have certain grievances to be made to the management. Collective bargaining is one very good option. Okay, it includes negotiation, it includes discussion with authorities, exchange of facts and ideas. So collective bargaining helps you to take your grievances to the authorities. See, we all hear about unions, isn't it? Any organization with more than 20 employees can have a union. And there are organizations where many unions are functional. And why do actually people form a union? It is to safeguard the interest of the employees. And if there is a union, it is easy to prevent exploitation of employees by the employers. So forming a union has its own advantages. It is mainly for the interest of the society and the people who are working in an organization. So it is a method of collective bargaining, isn't it? Now, is collective bargaining ethical or unethical? How do you define whether collective bargaining is ethical or unethical? See. As we all know, everything has got positive side and negative side. What are the positive facts about forming unions in an organization? See, if a salary hike is requested, or if you want standard of the living organization of employees to be improved, such things can be put forward to the employer by the unions. And if you are a part of a union, the employees get a greater sense of participation in decision making. That is, if something connected to the workers have to be decided, if you are a part of that union, you can always speak out what you want to happen, isn't it? And this forming unions also gives job security. They maintain a stability by providing an effective grievance redressal procedure. So if the workers in an organization have got grievances, naturally if there is a union, they can put it forward to the employers. Okay. Now, so that is one positive fact. And unions can also act as counter force to any political movement which is exploiting the workers of an organization. So these are the certain positive facts about unions. But as we mentioned earlier, negative about unions are many. As a very young engineer, I have come across many industries inside Kerala which have been destroyed because of the negative side of unions destroying the economy of the country by strikes and unwanted issues which have closed down many growing industries around us. See, unions destroy the economy of a country. They avoid person-to-person -person negotiation. That is, if an employer and an employee need a person-to-person -person discussion, Unions usually do not allow that. Okay. And there are certain unions which have encouraged conflict and stressed relations between employers and employee. And unions also prevent employer from rewarding individuals for their personal achievements. So unions are ma mainly functioning in groups of more than 20 people. And they are good when you think about them as a grievance redressal mechanism for the workers.